Hey guys, this is Mark, and in this video I want to explain all of the red digital cinema um, file naming, what these extensions mean, what all these numbers and letters mean. Because it can be somewhat confusing if you're just starting out with red, um, there's a lot of files and unique files specific to red. Um, so I want to explain some of that to you, and um, let's just get started right here on our mini mag. So we've got our log files, a couple of digital magazine bins. Um, but this is where all of our clips are stored and it is named the same as the uh, mini mag, so it can match up. But right here we have RDM and this stands for red digital media, which is just the folder with all of your media. And now inside of that, we do have our RDC or red digital clip. These are all individual clips, but inside we may find more than um, one clip depending on how long the take was, these takes were pretty short, so they're not going to be broken into multiple clips. Now, might as well also go over the naming scheme right here of the um, clips. So A is, or whatever the first letter is, is the camera, um, camera name. So this is camera A. And the number after that is your real number. This is real nine, but whatever you number it, um, that will show up right there. As you can see, this is A009, so camera A, real nine. Um, for the mini mag. Next we have another letter that is C for me and that is uh, means in meaning center. It could say L or R uh, left or right. So this is the position of the camera. And then next we have our clip number. We've got one, two, three, and it goes on like that. And then after that we have a completely random generated number. That way in case something else is numbered the same, it won't overwrite something else, which is nice. So inside of our RDC folder or red digital clip, we will find an R3D. This is a um, your clip. This is the raw file right here. And if you have um, multiple, it will show in here. This is also where you'll find your proxies if you're doing ProRes or DNX HD. Um, those will also show right here. And we got a preview of it right here. Some mini mags may automatically generate a thumbnail, and if it does, it will say RTN for red thumbnail. And if I take this clip into CineX Pro and I edit it, like I did this one, we will have an RMD file along with our R3D. RMD is red metadata. This contains all the metadata that we've changed inside of CineX Pro um, that applies to this clip. So that's pretty much it. Those are all of the um, naming schemes and setups that um, Red uses. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I'll see you in the next one.